Hey guys, it's me, Judge John, witness to Jesus Christ, King of Kings, making another video. I want to talk about that uh, tornado down in Kentucky, in a big storm, and uh, God is speaking. And when we see a storm like that, God is speaking to us in these storms that are coming, and their signs and their warnings to us, and saying God is is pretty, you know, pissed off and. Um, you see how he targeted that uh, Amazon store and just ripped the roof off of it. And, uh, you know, God is mighty and God is loving and merciful, but he's mighty too. And the time is coming for judgment. And there's a lot of bad things going on that he does not like down here that we're playing into. You know, I talk about the vaccine and all this, uh, you know, Serena Williams and you're dealing with all this you know, deception in the world. And, uh, you know, this is all part of darkness. You know, the say, say, you know, Satan, dark stuff where they're, um, he's using that energy to lead people and to confuse them, pull them away from God. So God uses the weather, you know, people, you know, they, they say, oh, Mother Nature did that and Mother Nature and global warming. No, it has nothing to do with that. This is God's. These are. This is God's hand. This is His world. Okay, if you read into the ancient Sumerian texts, you'll see that the uh, the ancient the Anunnaki and the Sumerian gods and they all were storm gods. And when it came time and the lands were in rebellion, and God would use the storms and He would send, you know, and Leo would send Lord Ninurta down and um, to squash the rebel lands, as He would say. Okay, into submission. So that they would come back to God. So my suggestion is because we're gonna, you're gonna see a lot more storms in the days to come. They're gonna be, they're gonna be devastating, and uh, people, uh, when they come, get on your knees and pray to Jesus Christ and pray to God, and uh, hopefully He'll protect you. And even if you pass or whatever, at least you'll be in good favor with Him, and um, which is. Really, all that matters. We're here, you know. Your spirit and your soul is important. You know, we're constantly, you know, the the problem with a lot of this vaccine stuff. They act like you're protected and you're somehow sanctified by it. Okay, but that's not true. And only God can clean, and Jesus Christ can clean and purify your you physically, spiritually, everything. Okay, so don't be misled. You know, and there to people that are manipulating you. To, so that you be part of their experiment, okay? This is what's happening. And, you know, God put me into the world and sent me as witness for him, for Jesus Christ, the true king of kings. And um, so I'm warning and I'm putting it out there. And uh, I want people to, to uh, dig in and find God and, and pray to him because now's the time and, we're, you know, it's coming down to the wire when stuff's going to be going down and it's going to get real heavy, okay? And, um, you know, God is loving, but he also, you know, he's angry. A lot of things we're doing down here and, you know, the judgment time is coming and we're all sinners. Nobody's clean on this earth. Anybody tells you they're clean, they're a liar. Whether it be me, anybody, we're all sinners. So we all need God to cleanse us and forgive us and to be merciful to us also. And uh, that's all I want to say. I'm just putting it out there. This is my message. Okay? Hallelujah.